When you're away, how does your cat act? Is there any true way to know that your cat misses you in real time or has missed you once you return? As a cat owner, especially a new owner, it's only natural to look for signs that a true connection has been made, a real bond. Does my pet even care? Or am I merely the caretaker, a role that most anyone could fill? In this material, I'll talk about how cats behave when they miss someone and a few indicators of how felines act when that person they've missed, that loving owner, finally returns home. Certainly a topic worthy of conversation, and I've got you covered. Stay tuned. Felines, they often get a bad rap. Cats are only in it for themselves. And as long as those essential needs are met, they really don't care who's pulling the strings. That's the rub. And to a point, it's true. However, cats like people. They can grow to appreciate others, other cats, and humans. Cats can form very strong bonds. And if the owner goes away, has gone on vacation, a business trip, what have you, some level of anxiety and emotional distress can surface. How do cats act when they miss someone? The behaviors can be a rather mixed bag. I'll start things off with lethargy, a case of the blues, just a bad day, moping around, not really wanting to do a lot, a bit lighter on the food and the water intake, let's call it, perhaps not wanting to engage in playtime. If your cat has been left with other members of the family or perhaps a cat sitter, as in someone coming over to be the caretaker, that individual could report that the cat just seems a bit out of it sort of moving at half speed in every aspect. Another sign is aggression. Rather than throwing a sad party, some felines use this time to act out. Tearing up furniture, the carpet, jumping on things they know they just shouldn't jump on. Many times these acts are nothing more than a coping mechanism. Similar to the lethargic feline, the reasons are the same. The routine is off, and my favorite person is out of the house. Another sign that a cat misses someone could involve frequent meowing and yowling. Just a constant chatterbox. This is especially true if the cat is being cared for by someone. During the absence of the owner, the cat is complaining to that person constantly. So, as you can see, perhaps minus the aggression part of the equation, cats aren't much different than people when it comes to missing someone. On the surface, using the human comparison, the first thing that comes to my mind is a crush. Very high school-esque. Remember, back in school when you had a big crush on someone, but then winter or summer break rolled around and you just knew you wouldn't see them again for a few weeks or a few months. Remember what those first five to ten days were like? Nothing short of miserable, yes? And it was different than missing a family member because, let's be honest, the pain of missing your crush, well, it's not more important than other forms of emotional distress, but it's very unique. When we talk about cats missing someone, felines often act like a high school kid who is missing their crush. So if you're looking for something to compare this to, there you go. <laughs> now let's jump to the aftermath. You've made it back home. The beach trip was great. The business trip was amazing. But now you're back and your cat seeing you for the first time. Well, how are they going to act? What are some of the signs that your cat could give you that would let you know that, hey, it was tough without you around? Well, how about that chatterbox all over again? Meowing and purring and even yowling up a storm? rubbing against you a lot more than usual. And when it comes to the chatter, pay close attention to this one. Listen up. It could seem like your cat's meows are almost in the way we would speak. Like your cat is attempting to tell you a story, to tell you about their misery. Some cats can become so vocal that it seems like they're trying to put together whole meowy sentences. While I'm not sure if meowy is a word, it is today. <laughs> Another sign that your cat has missed you, they quickly become your shadow. If your pet is uh, dealing with a major case of separation anxiety, now that you've returned home, heck, they might even follow you right into the shower, if that's what it takes. I mentioned aggression earlier. Well, don't be shocked if you get some of it now. Some cats, although they've missed their owner, they'll be a bit mad about it, upset that you left. They're not really mad at you, but rather at the whole circumstance. If you come home after being gone for a couple of weeks, be mindful that your cat could ditch that good behavior. And finally, some cats will maintain a period of lethargy after the fact. No sickness involved, just a sympathy card. It's not uncommon for cats to become very emotional. 
and use this time as a way to receive extra attention and show signs of distress. If your cat makes their way up to your lap and refuses to get up, this is a sign. More pets and more cuddles, please. Before I close things out for this topic, I want to leave you with a few tips on how you can support your cat when you're away and hopefully eliminate your cat from missing you at all, at least in an unhealthy way, let's call it. If you've been away from your pet in the past and you know they've had a very rough time while you were away, and also in the hours and days after your return, it's all about preparation for the next separation. Ways to make that time a part a bit easier for your cat. If you know that your pet is going to be home alone, do what you can within reason. Make sure that's not the case. Ask a trusted neighbor, a trusted friend, perhaps a family member to come over for a couple of hours each day. Ask them to come over, check on your pet, check on your home. Just a way to chew up some hours and hopefully serve to bridge that gap so your cat won't be so lonely. That's the objective here. Additionally, provide your cat with known comforts. Plenty of food, water, snack treats, and toys. Here again, chew up those hours and leave your cat with physical and mental enrichment. Essentially replicating their daily experiences even though you're not around. Not to state the obvious, but the occupied mind. It makes it harder to miss someone if you have a full plate of activities. As people, we know this to be true in our own lives. Sometimes that idle mind is the worst enemy. And how about this one? If you can make it happen, set up a camera and monitor your cat's daily life while you're away. Just to keep an eye on them because, hey, it's only natural that you'll be missing them too. The ultimate goal is to keep your cat on schedule. Do everything you can to keep the routine as sound as possible. And while that won't be easy with you being absent, cats are creatures of habit. There's a good chance they'll miss you far less if their daily life resembles the day before, as in the day before you left. The life of a cat owner can be a challenging one because for as much as we love our pets, we still have a life of our own to live, and that day-to-day -day grind for us doesn't stop simply because we have a pet. Life can throw us some curveballs, and we need to be ready for them. And when those curveballs come our way, we also need to be ready to provide for our pets and give them the smoothest transition possible. So whether you're leaving home on vacation, a business trip, or because of an emergency that you never could have anticipated, always have a plan in place for your cat, chewing up those hours and bridging that gap while maintaining as close to the daily routine as possible. That's the goal. Do that, there's a good chance your pet will be just fine. To the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, anything to add concerning this topic with respect to either behaviors that cats can express during the absence of an owner or those helpful tips to make that void a bit less traumatic. Your personal stories, your suggestions, anything and everything in between, the comments section is all yours. And if you enjoy this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you later.